Hello trophy hunters, welcome to my Resident Evil 3 Remake Collectible Guide. I'm going to show you all 116 of them. I'm not going to show you key items unless they are optional and tied to a specific specific collectible. Now, the first four are files. After you've turned on the light in the bathroom, you can go through your apartment and then collect the different files. Now, a couple things to note. Uh, again, there's 116 of them. They do carry over from one playthrough to the next. So as you're doing platinum playthroughs uh, for your speed runs, S ranks, whatever, uh, they will all accumulate and all count towards it. However, if you pick one up and then die, and when you respawn, you'll have to pick it up again. So just remember that. All right, so our first Charlie doll is going to be after you meet with Carlos. You're going to come up to this gate. He's going to tell you you need to find an optional route. What you need to do is turn around instead. Just go all the way up the stairs. Look between two newsstands right up ahead. Or newspaper dispensers or whatever you call it. Speaking of newsstands, we'll see one of those in just a minute. All right, so shoot or knife it. So now you're going to come to the train. Uh, you're going to meet a couple guys. There's going to be a cut scene. So you're going to go in the train, and then you're going to come out the opposite side. When you do, there's going to be the file right in front of you next to some ammo. Now you're going to go up the stairs, and you're going to see the newsstand in front of you, just to the left-hand side as you're coming up to the top of the stairs. All right, so you're going to make your way to an area, and you're going to see your first lock, but you're not going to be able to pick it yet. Uh, so there will be some backtracking at some point. I will point out exactly when I start doing that. And there's the lockbox there. So we're in basically a safe room uh, where you got your items box. Uh, there's also a uh, file right there, so you want to make sure you pick that up. So we're heading over to Moon's Donuts now. We're going to find Charlie Do Dowell number two here in the corner to the right of the microwave. Okay, so a little bit later on, you're going to make your way through here. Oh, it looks like I got a, a nemesis here. There's three items we're going to get, not the gunpowder. There's going to be the Charlie doll. And there's going to be the drugstore owner's journal. And then there's a safe. This is going to be our first weapon upgrade as well. So two things. The combination is 937. So this is all in the downtown donut shop uh, inside M uh, Moon's Donut area. And there's the weapon upgrade. All right, file number nine is going to be in the subway office. Uh, you're going to see there's a gun rack. There's going to be a shotgun in this side room, uh, but you're not going to be able to access it. So we're going to go past it and then pick up this file number nine real quick. And then Charlie Dowell number four. There will also be a locked... Uh, safe there that we're going to get later on. So, all right, we're going to go to the room where the shotgun is now. There's the hose there, which is part of the story. Inside this room on the desk is the subway employee's memo. We'll come back there for a lock and the shotgun. All right, so moving on, file number 11. You're going to enter this little safe house. There's a little cutscene. You're going to meet someone. Unfortunately, after the cutscene's over, he's going to be dead. So just pick up the file right next to him. And then we're going to carry on. We're going to leave that garage area. Come down the stairs, turn right instead of left, and there's going to be a file at the end of this. And number 13, which is the electrician's note, is going to be right behind us. You'll see it. It'll be on the wall. So we're going to get our first inventory upgrade in a little bit. Um, but first, we're going to get a file. The upgrade and the, and the, and the file are in the same room. So you're gonna get this puzzle room. You got those four blinking monitors. So there in the corner is the file, and here is your hip pouch. Inventory upgrade number one. All right. So before you leave this room, in that same room, there's a Charlie doll up in the corner. All right. So we're gonna go to the subway power uh, station here. Get down these stairs, and then there's going to be a collectible right in front of you. And we're gonna backtrack in just a second. Uh, first, you're going to get a, a set of lock picks down at the about 100 feet away. And then you're going to see there's a locked door that we can pick the lock on. So what I'm going to do is actually pick it. But instead of going through this door, I'm going to use this moment to backtrack. 
So we're gonna go to lock number three. Now that we're equipped with the, uh, the tools that we need, we're gonna find lock number three. This is in the subway power substation. So we're just gonna backtrack to the ground floor of that area and then use your lock pick. So we're going back and cleaning up to some of the stuff we missed. All right, so heading back towards the garage, uh, this is the room where you, I believe you got the bolt cutters as well. Uh, you're gonna use the lock pick here, open up another locker. They're fairly easy to see. You just have to remember to come back to, to them. And then finally, lock number five. This is actually the toy store. Uh, there's several things going on here. So we're gonna use the lock to open this up during this backtracking uh, section that I'm doing. You don't, you, if you wait too long to go there, you're not gonna be able to do it. But inside the toy shop is Charlie Dell number six, also file number 17. Now there's one key item I'm gonna show you here. This is gonna be the fancy box. Inside of it, if you examine it, is gonna be a green jewel. We will need to collect the three jewels the green one, the red one, and the blue one, and take it to the clock tower monument, uh, which was, I believe, in the subway station. So now I'm gonna show you the blue jewel, and it's actually in the supermarket across the street. Now for this, you need to use the bolt cutters. And the jewel is gonna be in the uh, fancy box right in front of you. Okay, so nearby, we're going to be uh, at the donut shop. So we're gonna actually backtrack there, not far from our current location. And there's actually gonna be the red jewel in here as well. So we're just gonna go to the locker in the back corner. Right across from the locker is the kitchen. We're gonna go in the kitchen. There's going to be the uh, fancy box. Unfortunately, I picked it up. I didn't capture the recording for some reason but it'll be right inside this kitchen door to our right. Somewhere in here. It's a safe room, so Nemesis won't be able to come in here. You can see I already have it. All right, now you need to head back to the subway office. Remember that shotgun we saw earlier? We picked up a note in this room. You also picked up the fire hose. We're going to get our second weapon. It's going to be the shotgun. You're going to use your bolt cutters for this. Open it up. Take the weapon. It's a great weapon, of course. Shotguns are... Badass in Resident Evil. All right, so once you pick that up, turn around, get the second lock pick. It's going to be the locker. I believe there's first aid spray in here. Now, once you've done this, we're going to leave the room, turn right into the next room. And this is where we found a Charlie dowel earlier. Well, there's also this box back in the corner that you can now pick the lock on. All right, so now it is time to travel all the way back to the uh, subway station in downtown. You're gonna find the weapon upgrade and a hip pouch here at the clock tower monument. So those three gems, the jewels that we got earlier, uh, when you put one in, you'll get a grenade as a reward. You put two in, you'll get a weapon upgrade as a reward, which is this tactical stock for the shotgun. Now, once you place the third and final stone in there, you will also get a hip pouch in addition well, I'm not going to spoil it for you. There it is, the Power Stones trophy. Okay, so from there, we're going to now just go with this, the first lockbox we did see earlier, so about 20 feet away. Now, we're going to find a weapon upgrade number three. Now, at some point, you're going to run into Nemesis, probably over and over again. And what you need to do to get this weapon upgrade is just do enough damage on him and he will drop a box. So we're gonna pick up the supply case, put it in your inventory, and then inspect that same box. So examine it, we're gonna open it up, and there is gonna be the extended magazine for the handgun. All right, so remember where we kind of stopped and backtracked. Well, now I'm gonna pick up that story path from that original locked door, right where you got the lock picking tools and now continue onwards. So we're just gonna make our way through this path. Up this ladder is going to take you to Chad's notes. All right, so you're gonna eventually run into Nemesis once again, and you can get another supply crate from him. And this is gonna be upgrade number four. 
This is going to give you, uh, I believe, the moderator for the handgun. Same thing, you're going to have to examine it. You're going to have to do enough damage. You have a grenade, that'll help. All right, so file number 19, and we're finally in the sewers. Uh, so this is going to be next to the door that you need a power supply for. There's a note on the wall telling you about the, the, the battery we're going to find. And then from there, we're going to make our way down south to this office. There's going to be an item box, typewriter. And you're going to find uh, number 20 in here. All right, so stay, staying in this room, we also have our third weapon, the MGL Grenade Launcher. Sure, you'll find some good uses for that. But next to that is file number 21. Three things you're getting in there. So make sure you get all of them. So now we're going to head over to the lab. Before you get to the lab, uh, there's some uh, gates, uh, grates in front of you, or bars in front of you, rather, and the Charlie Dell is standing right behind it. Shoot that will now enter the lab. This is where you're going to get the battery pack, one of the key items. All right, we're going to loop around. There's lock number 10. Just behind me and to my left is going to be another file. I believe it's called a love letter, if I'm not mistaken. So there it is, another 10 feet away. All right, so we're going to turn around, and you're going to see a waterfall. Well, there's some water, and it's falling. All right, so you're going to go through the waterfall. To get the very end of this is going to be file number 23. All right, so now we are going to take the sewers to the upper waterway section. You're going to use the battery pack. And you're going to take the battery pack over to a second door. You're going to go through that door, and inside of there is going to be the hip pouch, the third one. Okay, taking the battery. I'm sorry, that was the first battery door. We're actually taking it to the second battery door now. My mistake. Charlie Dowell number eight is going to be on the way, though. It's going to be just above the door. Okay, up the stairs, turn around, and as I said, above the door, literally. All right, so now you are at the demolition site. There's only one collectible here. It's going to be a note, a file rather. Uh, it's going to be in the second safe room during the chase. Uh, it's going to be next to the typewriter, so it's not going to be too difficult for you to find. Uh, after the boss fight you're going to encounter, you're going to find weapon upgrade number five. It's going to be inside the gun shop, just to the left-hand side of the store, right in the middle. Just after the gun shop, you're going to enter another house. There's going to be a door you're going to open. The dowel is going to be on a shelf right in front of you. Now, there's going to be a couple more items inside this house up on the second floor. There's the bobblehead. So let's go upstairs. Lock number 11 is going to be up on the second floor, right next to where the file is going to be located. There's a lock and the files on the bed. Okay, file number 26 is going to be uh, in the police station, actually. So we're going to switch to Carlos now. Now, this is going to be in the uh, security guard office. I don't remember what it was called, but underneath below the uh, main entrance to the police station. Somebody didn't have time to put his blues on. Some little Easter egg stuff there. So there's the email outbox. Now there's going to be a Charlie Dell. So if we continue out opposite of the cemetery side, we're going to find Charlie Dell opposite of the crate there. 
All right, file number 27 is going to be in the police station in the first room on the left. Uh, your partner is going to open up the gate, and you'll find it right there on the couch. You can find weapon upgrade number six. Now, you can see we're heading over to the west office. And the weapon upgrade is actually going to be uh, the scope for the assault rifle. Uh, there's also two more things we're going to get inside the West office, including file number 28, which is going to be along the left-hand side. And, of course, you probably already know there's a safe in here. It's going to uh, be our 12th lock we're opening, and it's hip pouch number 4. The combination is 9157. All right, we're going to head over to the dark room now. So uh, leave the west office, travel down here towards the stairs, go inside here. This is a safe room as well. File number 29 is going to be on the desk. Then go up the stairs, make your way to the third floor hallway. There's a key right there you're going to need just to your left, and there's going to be another lock. The combination for this is DCM. The only thing of value, though, is the key. So make sure you pick that up. But do open that lock. Then go back down towards the shower room. We're going to find file number 30 as soon as you enter the shower room. And just past that in front of you is going to be another lock. The combination for this one is C-A-P. All right, file number 31 is going to be in the safety deposit room. There's going to be two things in here. As soon as you open the door, grab the photo on the whiteboard, and then on the back left corner is going to be Charlie Dowell number 11. We're going to have to look up for this one. All right, you're going to eventually make your way to the STARS office. Inside the office, you're going to go into the, the smaller office. There's a storage box in there as well. But inside of here is file number 32. And this is actually going to do it for our Carlos section. So back as, uh, as Jill the second time, we're in a safe room. Now, Carlos is going to be on the, uh, on the, on the comms. So you're not going to be able to pick up the collectible. So once he stops talking, pick up number 33. And then in the subway uh, tunnels, we are going to find Charlie Dowell number 12. Not entirely sure why I didn't cut that little bit out. This is going to be in the second cell on the right. All right, now you're going to head over to the to uh, Clock Tower Plaza. You're going to have to head... Uh, look left and you'll see a van, a green van. There's some red herbs over there. Well, just around the corner from the van is the doll. Uh, opposite of where that doll was and closer to the river is going to be where you're going to find file number 34. It's basically a pamphlet that's going to be on a bench. Okay, so now we're going to be playing as Carlos for the second time. And we are in the hospital. Uh, so we're in the reception area. And we're going to continue to this like set of postcards here, more pamphlets. That'd be number 35. We're going to find Charlie Dowell number 14. This is at the very end of the next hallway before you go through the next door. All right, file number 36 is going to be on the desk next to the tape player. The tape player is a uh, story-related item, required item. But next to that is the file. Charlie Dow, uh, Dow number 15 is going to be uh, on the roof. So you're going to be up on the second floor and go outside before you go back inside. On the roof, you're going to kill that doctor and look on the corner there right by the, by the door for the doll. All right, we're going to get weapon upgrade number 7 is going to be in the courtyard area. Uh, we're going to come up on the second floor, head turns towards the nurse's station, turn right, drop down this first window. Uh, before we jump over this little bench, 
There's a little pot here it's in the dark corner. I'm going to find weapon number seven. There's also another weapon on the other side of the shrubs, but you can't get that as Carlos. We have to wait until we're playing as Jill again. So number 37 is going to be in this room here, another safe room. You have to kind of look in the stack of files over here to find number 37. Number 38 is going to be in the staff room, very close by. But very bloody, however. You'll notice there's also a locker that we have to get Jill here for as well. But we're going to pick up that file and then a second file a few feet away. All right, so file number 40, nurse's station. There's a lot going on here. Uh, there's going to be a safe right in front of us, which we'll get in a moment. But first, we're going to get this note, file number 40, and then go to the safe itself. Now, this is going to be lock number 15 and weapon upgrade number 8. The combination for this is simply 9 and 3. 9 left, 3 right. And there's the dual magazines for the assault rifle, which is fantastic. All right, Charlie Dial number 16, a little side room uh, connected to that nurse's station is this little garbage can in the corner. It's right behind a the door. There's two doors in here. I don't know why I took the other one. Now, if you're missing one dowel, by the way, that's the bobblehead you're missing. All right, file number 41, we're heading towards the operating room. Inside the operating room, on the back side over here, back side of the machines. All right, we are in the lab, re lab reception area. You're going to use the, the voice recorder to open up this door. You'll see the first guy right behind him is going to be file number 42. Uh, there's also a story-related collectible there. I am not showing story-related stuff. You'll get automatically. All right, so hit pouch number five is going to be in this room where you have to kind of defend yourself, hold out for a long time. And there's hit pouch number five is going to be behind you. It's in a room that's not open until you get to that section. All right, Claire, or Claire, holy cow, wrong game. Jill is back in play. A weapon number three is going to be right as soon as you wake up in that sick room. Lock number 16 is going to be into the next area. We're going to unlock this door. We're going to pick the lock because it's lock number 16, and that's what we do. However, we're not going to go through it just yet. We're going to do some uh, backtrack in here through the reception area, through the other door in the reception and we're going to find our way to the simple lock. This is going to be where the nurse's station is and the courtyard, that whole area. You may have seen a bunch of locked stuff. Now we can finally get it. So that was lock number 17. There's some mag ammo in there. Uh, locker number 18 is going to be in uh, near the emergency entrance where the zombies kind of broke through this the glass there. All right, so we're up on the second floor of the uh, hospital now. We're going to go back through this really messy room once more. Uh, there is a, this is where two collectibles that Carlos got were, but there's also a lock here for Jill. All right, once you've opened this up, we're going to head over to the linen room. Not far away. Now this is going to be the final lock you got to pick in the game. So if you've done everything up till now, you'll pop the Master of Unlocking trophy. Uh, I won't. I had to go back after the fact and, and pick some that I missed in my first playthrough. But weapon number four is going to be in the courtyard area. So uh, we're going to squeeze through some rubble here. Carlos is not able to fit through here, but Jill thankfully is. Once you climb through, we're going to jump through the window on the left and drop down right where the uh, 44 Lightning Hawk Magnum is. And this will also pop a trophy. I don't remember the name. Guaranteed to give you a headache. Kendo's Armory, that's right. All right, Charlie Dowell, number 17. So now we're going to backtrack back to the reception area and go through that padlock door and continue onward. So we're done with the backtracking portion of this. Charlie Dowell, number 17, is going to be on the front of the forklift. 
All right, we got an inventory upgrade. It's going to be in another office, the underground storage office. There's two collectibles here. This upgrade, the hip pouch, as well as a file. They're both right next to each other. Charlie Dowell number 18 is in the underground storage area. Uh, this is where you're doing the, f uh, the fuse hunt here. So what we're going to do is squeeze through this. Now, I showed you a little box just a second ago because we're going to go there in just a moment. But Charlie Dowell number 18 is right over here. And I apologize. I split four different clips, clips together to kind of make this work for us. But there's Charlie Dowell number 18. Now I'm going to go over to this uh, console lower the lift that you don't actually ever have to lower as far as the story path goes but you need to lower it in order to get to weapon upgrade number nine which is the shell holder for the shotgun another incredibly useful upgrade make sure you combine the two items all right take the nearby stairs up through the first door here to the left watch out there's going to be some zombies but there's also going to be an employee memo that is um, file number 45 all right, so weapon upgrade 10 is going to be after you complete the fuse section. By the way, there's a trophy for doing all of that in less than five minutes. Uh, up in this surveillance room, Shit. after you've restored power to that elevator, make sure you open that box, and there's an extended barrel. There's only one more weapon upgrade left. File number 46 is in the same room. Just interact with this console. All right, we're heading down from the sterilization room. You're going to see some stairs off to the right there. Don't go in there just yet. Go in this room. You're going to find a file. Uh, this is also a safe room. Pick that up, and then go up those stairs. We're going to turn right, even though Jill's going to try to turn left here. I don't know what was happening. Turn right, then left. Follow it around. And this one's going to be actually right underneath the zombies about to get up. And he landed right on it. That is file number 48. Number 49, we're actually going to make our way up. We're on the second floor now. Uh, you're going to find the big room here. There's going to be another file right on the corner. You probably won't miss that one. But you may miss Charlie Dowell number 19, which is around the corner here. It's actually on the other side of this opening. There we go. All right, so we're going to go to another security locked door. We're going to use the flash drive we acquired to open that door. Complete. And you're going to find a whole bunch of black body bags hanging from the ceiling here. Uh, in this room right next to me is file number 50. So we're going to grab that and now head upstairs into lab one, and there's going to be a file on the desk. Now, there's also another kind of like a back room attached to this lab. So we're going to go through this next door. And Charlie Dowell number 20, which will pop a trophy if you've got them all. I don't. I think number four was my last one. Or six. At any rate, number 52 uh, is coming up. So we're going back through the body bag area, except we're going to go through this other doorway now. This game's very linear, so it's not going to be too hard to follow along. You're going to find a body laying on the ground. So if you go out of that door to the right, you'll find the bag or the, the body. And then you're going to find number 53 is going to be in the incubation lab. Number 54, you're going to find in the worker's break room. So yet another safe room. And then immediately, well, right there, immediately after earning the Nemesis Down Trophy, I don't think I can get any more specific than that. Keep going straight. Find the typewriter. Somewhere in this room is file number 55. And then finally, the, the very last collectible in the game, after defeating uh, Nemesis. Uh, spoilers, I mean, the game's a decade old. But you're going to have to go up these this ladder. You're going to go through a door. If you look down on the floor right before you go through the door, you'll find collectible number 56. And I have now completed my task of showing you all the collectible locations. I want to thank you guys so much for watching. It means a lot to me if you guys can hit that like button and, of course, subscribe.